Imagine a world where you didn't ask people where they went to school. In a job interview, but when you casually meet someone, instead, you ask about all the other things, like how do you think, what your dreams are, what gets you going, or how you like to spend your time. In fact, my favorite question to ask is, if you didn't have any constraints, money, location, skill set, credentials, family commitments, what would you be? Imagine asking that in a job interview. I would want to be an investigative journalist, but you probably wouldn't be able to figure that out from the fact that I studied math and computer science in college. Going to college has been the goal for many Americans. I want to take a poll. Raise your hand if you have a college degree. Pretty much everyone here. Now raise your hand if you're working in a job that's directly related to your degree. It's very few people here. College is a time-consuming and expensive proposition. This is why only 30% of Americans have a bachelor's degree. At the same time, with the rapid development of technology, artificial intelligence, robotics, the jobs that we're trained for today may become redundant tomorrow. Digital marketing as a field really emerged over the past 10 years. As Google and Facebook and the internet took over our lives, and it became increasingly important to know how to talk to your customers online. The same is true for cybersecurity, design, customer success, robot operations, and a myriad other jobs. It's no longer possible to be trained on one set of skills and expect to have the same job for 40 years. I believe that the future of college and hiring need to change. I once hired someone who went to a very good school. He was very talented at what he did, but he didn't know how to work with other people. He didn't like deadlines, and he didn't like to communicate. It didn't work out too well for him. Eric, the CEO of one of our portfolio companies, has one hired someone who sold him shoes at Nordstrom to come sell enterprise software. This guy was fantastic, and now is the head of business development at an enterprise software company. Eric took a chance on someone who had the right skills and aptitude, but had an unconventional background, and it paid off. We're at the beginning of massive change in education and the future of work. Some startups are pioneering alternative models of hiring and training and what this future looks like. I'll give you two examples. The Minerva Project is reimagining college. It strives to deliver a better quality of education at a third of the cost of traditional colleges. The students live on campuses in seven countries across the world and they learn in small classes collaboratively with their peers. And the results are incredible. I met this one woman at Minerva who blew me away. She was thoughtful about the fact that she wanted small class sizes versus large lectures, that she wanted to develop critical thinking skills versus memorize facts about history of biology, that she wanted exposure to a variety of cultures globally versus being coddled on a single college campus. She was mature and engaging, and she wasn't even old enough to have a credit card. She was just 17. Strive Talent helps employers hire based on their competencies, not their credentials. Most of their candidates don't have college degrees, and their resumes are rather unimpressive. Strive looks beyond the resume. They assess candidates based on cognitive, behavioral, and aptitude traits. And the candidates that are placed by Strive are more likely to get hired, stay longer, and they perform better and they're more diverse. Reflect on your hiring practices. Look at your top performers and your bottom performers, and check back to your notes to when you interviewed them months or years ago. What did you think of them then? Did the college they went to make a difference? If you're having trouble filling your open positions, take this as an opportunity to think broadly. Ditch the credentials. Ditch them. Don't ask people where they went to college. 
Instead, perhaps try asking them my favorite question. If you didn't have any constraints, what would you be? You'd be amazed at how much you can understand about someone just with this one unencumbered question. Open your mind to alternative models of training and hiring. They could give you better results for your organization. You will gather talent, however unconventional, that will enable your organization to meet the challenges of tomorrow. And you can have a head start before your peers realize you're onto something. Thank you.